Welcome besties. So we are going to start with the trouser. So this is the front panel. We'll start by fixing the pocket. Okay. So um, here I'm going to place the pocket right side facing the right side of the front panel like this. I'll sew this way with half an inch. I'll do the same to this other side. Okay. You sew with half an inch. So in case if, you are, if this is your first time, this is the sewing video. I uploaded the cutting video earlier. I mean last week. So you can go and check that out. So here I'm done sewing it. And I'm going to press this down. Okay. So you can go and sew it down. On your sewing machine, just sew it down. Hold it together this way. Okay, or you use hemming gun. So you can go and stitch this way here, or you use hemming gum. So in my case, I prefer using hemming gum. It makes your work look neat. So here I'm going to be using hemming gum in between. So here is my hemming gum. I'll just place it this way and I will iron them, iron it together okay so i'll repeat the same on the other parts of the trouser okay and after that we're just going to bring it over like this like so <coughs> like this and then you measure out the 2.5 inches we take out from the trouser Okay, so this is where the 2.5 inches falls and you're going to bring this towards that point like this and then you sew, you hold it together, sew here, okay? After sewing here, you flip over and close up your pocket, hold it like this and sew it, close it up, okay? Separately, only the pocket, close it up, okay? So I'll just go and do that and I'll show you guys. So here I've done that. As you can see, I've closed the pocket. And this is it. So I did the same for both sides. And I also joined the crotch area with half an inch. Okay, so here is our pocket sitting pretty nice. And I've also joined the crotch using half an inch. Okay, so... I also joined the crotch for the back panel using half an inch and I sew my dart. So the dart length I used is 4 inches. Okay, that's the dart length I used for the back. So it's 4 inches the dart length. And for this pants, we're going to be using side zip. Okay, so I'm going to start sewing from the hem towards the waist and I'll leave 5 inches before the waist on the side that I'll be using my zip you can put your zip on the left or on the right hand side so from here I'm going to sew up to the waist and the same to this other side so here I've done that and I've left five inches as I, like I told you earlier and I finished up this other side I didn't leave any allowance and I've also folded my hemline and this is how I fold the hemline fold one inch first and then one inch again and sew Okay, so next we're going to be closing the inseam. We're going to be closing the inseam after folding the hem. So you match your crotch line together like this. And you start sewing from one side down. From this crotch down to this hem. And from this other side down to the other hem. Okay, just to get an accurate um, measurement. Okay. So match together from here down, from here down. I'll do that and I'll be back. So here I've done that. And we are going to cut our waistband. I'm going to measure around the waist. Whatever you get, you add at least extra 3 inches to it. Okay. So here I have 40 and I'm going to measure this. OK, 
Okay, so I joined the band so that it would be enough because it's not actually long enough. So I had to join it. And the width is 5 inches. Unfold is 2.5. Okay, unfold is 2.5. And when you open it up, it's 5 inches. So the length is more than 40. So now I'm going to be sewing it this way. It's just a very simple band. Very simple. Okay. So you can just sew it like this round the waist, right side to right side, or um, you do the stitch in the eye method. Okay, so this is how I'm going to be fixing my own band. I'm going to place it this way, right side facing the right side of the band and sew round the waist. Okay, right side facing right side and sew round. So here I have done that and I'm going to turn this to the right side like this. So I'm going to be doing a kind of a stitch in the eye method. Okay, so I'm going to hold it this way and I'll be sewing inside my seam. Okay, and it will be catching the, just push this inside. Okay, push your allowance is inside and then you'll be sewing inside the seam like this be sewing inside the seam inside inside your seam line and it will be catching the outer part the inside one okay so here i've done that and our pants is almost ready so next i'm going to just fix my zipper okay so this is it measure your waistline and fix your zipper and that's all for the pants this is my seam as you can see i sewed inside they are not seeing my seam allowance and it's just catching the inside one so all you need to do is to just go and um, overlock it all around just go and weave it round and here is the hem everything is neat so we'll enter the top now okay <coughs> excuse me so here is the blouse i've joined my shoulders together okay I've joined the shoulders together and I also sedge it. So now I'm going to measure the neckline. So I got 34. After measuring the neckline, I got 34 and I added extra 6 inches to that. So making it 40. So the length I cut out is going to be 40. So I cut out 40 inches long and the width is 2 inches on fold. When you open it up, it's 4. Okay, so this is the strap. I also iron the hair stay to it. So it's 40 and the width is 2 inches. You iron a hair stay to it. So I'm going to open it up and fold it into two. So here I folded it into two like this. Like this. And I'm going to sew here like 2 inches upward. Okay. Just sew like 2 inches upward. I'll just mark it 2 or 2.5 inches upward like this. Okay, so here I've done that, and I'm going to flip it over this way. Okay, so this is how it's going to look, and I'm going to iron this and also shape the edge. So this is how it's going to be sitting on the neckline. But um, um, the neckline has kind of a, sh a V-shaped um, band on it. So I'm going to be shaping the neckline. Okay. So now I'll be cutting out the essence I added to it. Okay. So you just remeasure your necklines very well and then sew out the excess. So here I'm going to notch the midpoint of the back neckline and the front neckline. Okay. So now I'm going to shape this band like I told you guys I would. And this is it. Just make it into like a V kind of shape. Okay. Just like a V kind of shape. A little. This is it. Okay. So um, I'm just trying, to, I'm just going to try to fix it to see if, um, how much excess I have. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of measure it 
but it's not working i need to use my tape to measure and then sew out the excess okay so it's good to also use your pin and pin down first of all before you do that so i notice i have a lot of i added a lot so i'm just going to remeasure it like this So the best thing is to measure the neckline and also check. So what I have on the band is 20, which is more than the neckline. So I'm just going to hold the neckline into two like this and then I'll measure it. So what I have here is 16 inches. I'm going to 16.5. I'm going to measure that out. So I'll open this up like this and then I'll measure. Okay, so I'm going to chalk. I'll measure the down part also. And I'll chalk. So I'll go and sew it down straight. I'll just go and sew there and I'll cut out the excess. So here I've done sewing. I'm done sewing it and I'm going to cut, trim out the excess and I'll iron press open it. Okay, so I'll refold it into two like this and I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and attach it to the neckline. Okay, so this is how I'm going to attach it. You put the, the midpoint of this band to the midpoint of your front neckline. You're going to sew from the right side so that the seam is going to be on the inside. So you place it this way, you use your pin and hold it down and then you start pinning it all true or you sew or you sew you can pin or you just sew straight so you're going to be sewing this way and stop a little bit after the shoulder after your shoulder seam and you continue from the other side also just so we get equal measurements just a little bit after your shoulder you come back to the other side and continue sewing like this also okay and also you stop after your shoulder line after your shoulder line so guys i've done that and of course i still notice a little bit of excess so this is the midpoint and this is the midpoint as you can see we have excess here we have excess here so i'm just going to take measurement of the excess i have and then know how much to sew out again okay so I'm showing you guys everything and how I do it. I don't want to kind of fast forward or remove anything. So, so that you guys should know when you are sewing, you have excess. This is what you do. So I just took a measurement of the excess I have. And I'm going to go sew that out. So I'll fold it this way again. And I'll sew it down straight. Okay. So guys, here I've done that. I still sew out the excess and I'm going to check if it's okay. Okay, so here is matching. So I'll just trim out the excess. Okay, so I'm just going to go and sew this down. I'll finish it up. So here, as you can see, it's perfect now. And I'll just go and finish the remaining part. And here I've done that. And I'm going to iron it and also notch this point so that it will relax better. Notch the V point, that V part. Notch it so that the band will relax on the neckline. Okay. So here I've done that. And this is it. As you can see, 
all you need to do is to give it a good press okay just give this a good press and we are done with the neckline and uh, moving for that to the sleeve my clients um at the point of sewing this my client changed her mind that she want a ton of sleeve so i made a ton of sleeve and what i did was remember i added two inches sewing allowance for to the sleeve to the um sleeve opening so i just take out check the measurement is 20 i added extra i added extra like four inches and i cut out one inch from the two inches i added for the allowance so this is 1.5 unfold when you open it up is two inches three i mean three inches and unfold is 1.5 so i'm going to place the wrong side of my sleeve this way and sew it down okay so here i've done that and I'm, I placed the wrong side of the sleeve on the band and sew it down. And I'm going to flip it over to the right side. Okay. Did you see it? So you're going to flip over and top stitch. So I'm just going to go and top stitch. And then you fold again this way and sew down. Okay. So I've done that. And I did that to the both side of the sleeve, as you can see. But you can also choose not to do this turn up and just fold your sleeve two times, one inch, one inch, okay? So here I'm done and I shaped the side using the one inch sewing allowance I added, okay? I folded the down part first of all before I shaped, okay? I shape with one inch down after folding the hem so next we are going to we are going to weave the side seam so I notch the armhole area side so that it will relax fine so we are going to go and weave and we'll be weaving it one after the other one after the other and after weaving you open it up this way and stitch okay just get note I mean measure the length you want maybe you stop on your waistline I stopped on the waistline of this client so you just open this up like this and so okay so at the tip after weaving it though so at the tip from here down upwards from here upward so that it will give you um, a, I mean casing for your loop Okay, so that I have casing for your loop. So I've also prepared my loop. This is the strap I'm going to be using for the loop. So it's just 1.5, I'll be one inch. Just fold this way and fold again. Or you can sew it and turn it out with your pin. Okay, but this is how I folded my. And here I'm done sewing the way I told you guys. And this is the loop. And I'm just going to use my pin and pass it. Okay, so this is where it stopped. This is where it stopped. So I just chopped there and I'm going to start passing the strap inside. Like this. So you make sure it exceeds the line you mark. So that when you sew it will hold the two together. So I'll repeat the same thing on the other side of the loop. Okay, I'll repeat the same on this other side. Okay, so here I've done that. As you can see, it exceeded. It come out. Make sure you have something out and just go and close this up so that to hold them together. When you're pulling, it will not pull out. Okay, so I'll do the same on this other side also. So here, guys, I'm done doing that. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. So sorry I couldn't get the video or the picture on the client. The day she came to pick it, I wasn't around. And it was perfect. So she just picked it and left. If you have any questions, do ask on the comments below. I love you guys. And I'll be seeing you on my next tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.